and Jerry Lewis. Presented by the Colgate Pamela Peat Company, makers of Halo Shampoo. Colgate Dental Cream. Fab, the new wash day suds. And Palmolive Soap. The Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis Company with Dorothy Dandridge and Danny Arnold, Bob and Eddie Mayo, Donald McBride and Marion Marshall for the courtesy of Hal Wallace. Musical direction by Dick Seville. Written by Ed Simmons and Norman Lear. Art director, Bert Ullman. Choreography by Bob and Eddie Mayo. NBC production supervisor, Sam Fuller. Produced and directed by Ernest D. Glucksman. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure we all realize the debt of gratitude we owe to Dr. Field for his donation of this priceless prehistoric set. <laughs> yes, indeed. However, there has been a rumor that Dr. Field's discovery is not authentic. Oh, now, please remain calm. Dr. Field. Would you object if we had this possible inspected by independent experts? I would not. Good. I have invited two of the world's leading archaeological authorities to inspect our specimen. And here they are, those great scientists, Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. <laughs> Children allowed. Get out of there. Please, Mr. Lewis, this is Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil? Dr. Phil? Well, I'll have to bring a note from his father. Get out of there. Dr. Phibbley, please examine the, uh, uh, the dinosaurus. Well, the dinosaurus. Well, yeah, we're going to have courage if we don't hurry up. Listen, uh, how old is this cat right here? Oh, yes. Over 14 million years old. Well, can you all prove it? Why, yes, by the fossilization of the bones. The fossilization of your brains. We're not interested. Where's the birth certificate? Show it. it. <laughs> we have to examine this thing. Look out of the way, Harvey. Now, look at this. This thing this comes, comes apart. That's no good. Look at the head. The man. introduce my first song. Oh, no, if you're mad at me, I don't want to have No, any... no, who's mad? I don't know. <laughs> introduce my song. Well, no, if you're mad at me, I don't have to... Introduce the song. Well, I'll keep your head yourself up because I got rough with you, Rocky. Don't fool with me. Oh. I don't have to introduce the song if I don't... You don't want it. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to hit me in the nostril. <laughs> We have two wonderful fans in New York. We have little Slugger Wilson. He's old. What happened to the camera? 
Oh, he's Earl Wilson in the town, and I said I would say hello to him. And to Richie Morrow, a 10-year-old boy who's celebrating his birthday, I promised that Dean and I would wave to him. So to you, Richie. <laughs> I would like uh, very much to introduce my song, that my, my, my partner's song. I'm a little nervous, and my tongue got in the way of my eye tooth, and I couldn't see what I was saying. <laughs> Tracy, I can hear you all right. <laughs> so anyhow, uh, I would like to... Uh, which camera? You're all moving around. <laughs> Everybody's so confused. <laughs> song, and this is a young man I'm very proud to present. Which side do I go? Over here? Oh, all right. Everybody is so nervous. <laughs> Rush your teeth with Ajax. Anyhow, <laughs> I, I, I would like very much to introduce my partner singing a very beautiful tune. It's his, one of his latest recordings, and uh, he records on the side of Perry Como's record. So... Uh, <laughs> Am I in the doghouse? Well, I can't help it, Jack. Then why are you leading me a dog's life? I'm sorry, Jack. Your dentist is the one to answer that. Oh, gone. She's right. The trouble with Jack was unpleasing breath. Colgate Dental Cream cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. Scientific tests prove that in seven out of ten cases, Colgate instantly stops unpleasing breath that originates in the mouth. And brushing teeth right after eating with Colgate Dental Cream stops tooth decay best. Dental research shows that the Colgate way stopped more decay for more people than ever before reported in dentifrice history. No other toothpaste or powder, ammoniated or not, offers such conclusive proof. Well, now I have my doghouse back because Colgate's fixed up things for Jack. Brush your teeth with Colgate. Colgate Dental Cream, it cleans your breath. What a toothpaste. Well, it cleans your teeth. Colgate toothpaste. Cleans your breath. What a toothpaste. Well, it cleans your teeth. Remember, always use Colgate Dental Cream to clean your breath while you clean your teeth and help stop tooth decay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jimmy Wally. <laughs> Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis were not always stars of the Colgate Comedy Hour. In their early days as a team, they knew much hardship. Tonight, we'd like to take you back to 1945, when the boys were green and the pickings were lean. They haven't worked in weeks. They haven't eaten in days. As we see them now, they are just about to enter another agency. Let's see how they make up. Murray's booking agency? No, I'm sorry. We have nothing today. <laughs> oh, I'm awful hungry, Dean. I'm awful hungry. I'm hungry, too, Jackie. Well, we gotta get some work. I'm awful hungry. Well, we gotta get some work to buy food. Yeah, but we've been to 30 of these agencies. I don't want to go out. Well, maybe that's the last one. Maybe we'll get some work in here. Huh? I don't think so, Dean, but let's try. Come on, Solly. All right. Well, hello. Hiya, here we are. Good. Solid, dancers, and funny patterns. That's fine, fellas, but we have nothing for teams. We're not a team. We work together. <laughs> we work together. Get a load of this. Right. Here we are, just you and I. Let the world hurry by. I think you like it. It was very nice, fellas, but we have nothing for you. Let's get out of here. I told you, Dean. Just food, 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 food. Oh, food. Oh, maybe just a little piece. No, just maybe just a little piece. Oh, what's your favorite thing? Oh, you're Now, uh, what did you say 
you did? What kind well, of? Well, I dance with my partner. We do jokes. Ah, oh, come on, see, I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, well, you say you don't want to act right away. Then do it. I'll see what I can do. You and me. Uh, you and me, you and me, ventriloquist, you and me. Oh, man no, 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 we yeah. sing and we dance, we're a team. He wants a ventriloquist, that's a guy, and he uses... Oh, no! <laughs> not me, no! I'm not going to do it. No, 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 And a ventral I'm the ventriloquist, Dean Martin's the name, and here's a uh, Dean Martin and Jerky. Well, that's a coincidence. <laughs> yep. Say, so you might be just the man I want. Yeah? Come in the office. Crazy. Oh. <laughs> well, that's certainly a pretty big dummy. Yeah, you have know how big a dummy he is. Now, what's this? Hey, did you take a bath this morning? Why, is there one missing? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll never get anywhere with that thing. Why not? Yeah. You've got to get something that looks human. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, you know. Human, look at that. Genuine hair. Watch his head. Look. Huh? Huh? Hey, that's pretty good. Yeah. Do you mind? Be my guest. <laughs> you didn't have to be so real about it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. No, I don't want to. I don't want to. What'd you say? A match. Oh, sure, I got a match. Want to light? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I've only got a little time. Let me see what you can do. Okay. What's your name? Rover. Rover? That's a funny name for a dummy. Dad wanted a cock and spaniel. <laughs> Boy, you're no good, you. <laughs> well, let me see now. Uh, uh, how old are you? Six years old. Six years old? Well, you're pretty big to be six years old. Mother wanted a California Redwood. California Redwood. <laughs> California Redwood. <Yeah. laughs> Hey, look, I've only got a little while. In fact, my lunch is good. Lunch, Here lunch, is right food, now. food, lunch, 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 food, 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 lunch, food, 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 lunch, food, lunch, food, lunch, food, lunch. Wait a minute. This is sensational. Why didn't you tell me before you can do two voices at once? Oh, oh that's nothing. We were working in Boston. I'll never... Jerry! <laughs> that's terrific. Yeah? Well, sit down and have lunch with me and we'll talk country. Okay. Take my time. <laughs> well, how do you like that? They bring you the lunch, put it down, you save yourself. How about that? That's the day for it. You imagine that? How about this lunch? Huh? <laughs> oh, one million dollars. I can see Thank you. Two! <laughs> That's what I like about you. You're always working. Yeah. Now, hey, you, you know, it's a good thing that dummy can't eat. There's <laughs> only enough for two. Yeah, I'll eat it. Can you imagine that dummy with a big plate of food in yeah, front of Yeah, that's terrific. Give me a little piece of food. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're only tricks. Sure, I can eat and he can talk at the same time. What? No. I'm not going to talk. Give me no, some meat. Give me some meat. What anything happened? I was walking on my way to the restaurant. I get something to eat. I was pretty hungry, boy. Yes, sir, read, boy. I was pretty hungry. Boy, no boy. I was pretty hungry. <laughs> One other trick. I can drink a Coke and make him sing at the same time. No. Yeah, crazy. Go ahead. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> hey, uh, Hold a note. Oh, oh, long as you aren't holding a note. I'm not holding a 
hot and I'm hungry. <laughs> Now, look, you finish your lunch. Yeah. I'll have my secretary draw up a contract. Now, right. take your time. Great. Oh, Miss Smith, if you will. Oh, uh, Miss Smith, if you will. <laughs> now, you wanted to eat? Go ahead, eat. I'll get Oh, I'm so hungry. Go ahead, eat, eat, eat. Oh, I thought he'd never leave. Go ahead, eat. Oh, I'm so well, hungry. Watch how you eat. No, you haven't eaten in a long time. Yeah, watch I know, time, because you know. I'm all This will hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Pick up the knife before you eat like a gem. Watch your son, because if he eats, no, if he eats, you want to <laughs> Name at the bottom of the paper here. All right. All right. How you there, pass? here's a pen. Yeah. Say, yeah. hey, where's the dummy? Oh, he took a cab. I, no, he does. I don't like to have him around while uh, I'm doing business. Oh, good idea. Sure. Yeah. That's that. Uh, right now. What's that? I'm doing that. I'm doing that. What's going on here? What are you trying to put over, Martin? No, I'm doing that. I don't think that's a dummy. I think that's human. You I'm call it? You call me a liar? I'm calling you. I think that's a human but being. I'll prove it to you. Prove it. I still think it's human. This is not human. It's human. Look at this. Huh? Uh, huh? Look at that. Don't, don't mean a thing. Don't believe it, huh? Still human. You want me to prove it? Prove it. Ah! Let your beauty be seen. Yes, let your beauty be seen. Palm Olive brings out beauty while it cleans your skin. I want you to hear the story of a famous singing star who avoided camera close up cause her skin looked under par. Her career was on the rocks until a girlfriend said you can in 14 days be lovelier with Palm Olive Beauty Plan. 36 leading skin specialists in 1,285 tests Prove Palm Olive Beauty Plan brings most women lovelier complexions in 14 days. So start Palm Olive Beauty Plan today. Gently massage Palm Olive Soap's extra mild pure lather onto your skin for just a minute three times a day. Rinse and pat dry. Yes, doctors prove Palm Olive Beauty results. Now that soprano is so stunning, her complexion looks so fine. With skin like a rose, she will happily pose any time. And wherever she's seen on stage or screen, she's living proof you can have a lovelier, brighter, smoother skin with Palm Olive Beauty Plan. Yes, let your beauty be seen. Palm Olive brings out beauty while it cleans your skin. Shampoo presents the true story of the Sleeping Beauty. Egad, what a doll. Egad, what a mess. What did you do with your hair? Washed it. Washed it? With what? With this stuff. That? Brother, don't you know soaping dolls' hair? Halo glorifies it. Let me demonstrate. Halo is not a soap or oily cream made with a special patented ingredient. Halo can't leave dulling soap film. Halo needs no special rinse. Leaves hair fragrant, soft, and shining. Ooh, 
And here I'll leave my hair so easy to manage. So don't you be a sleeping beauty. Use Halo shampoo and find your face dry. So Halo, everybody, Halo. Halo shampoo, Halo. Hi, this is Margaret Lindsay. Why don't you follow Sleeping Beauty's advice and find a prince of your own? You see, Halo shampoo glorifies your hair, leaves it soft, naturally shiny, and so wonderfully easy to manage. Next time you buy a shampoo, remember, soaping dulls hair. Halo glorifies. <laughs> I run the best prison in this state, and I'm not going to have my record spoiled. Now, we got to report that two of our most vicious killers are starting something tonight, and we got to find out what it is. What are you going to do, Warden? The district attorney's office sent over a special investigator. I'm going to find him in that cell. He'll find out what that plan is. Jolly, is that guy in his convict suit yet? He's all set, Warden. Good. Put him on. I want to talk to him. Here he is. His name's Plummer. Listen, Plummer, the DA says you're one of his toughest investigators. That's good. You're going into a cell with a couple of killers. Now, we know there's something cooking down there, and it's up to you to get the dope. You've got to be tough and fearless. Don't worry about me, Warden. I'm so tough I scare myself. <laughs> hey, Professor, what time is it? Uh, the little hands on four and the big hands on two. Seven thirty. <laughs> I can't wait till it's midnight. Hey, yeah, we're going to action at twelve sharp. Twelve. <laughs> what? 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 Hey, you guys, come here. Where are you at? You boys are going to have a little uh, party here. Yeah. Yeah. They're bringing your guy here. He's one of the toughest guys we ever had up here. It's nobody tougher. Quiet, quiet. The police are moving out. There he is now. Come on, get your hands off me, you lousy coppers. Get your hands off me, you big coppers, boy. Buddy, watch your step, you'll get hurt, Buster. <laughs> All right, you. Hey, you. Don't give me no trouble, buddy. Just watch your step, mind your manners. I may be skinny, but I'm anemic. <laughs> because guys, you give me a hard time, I felt them, see? I give them a shot like that, and I tear the head, and I throw the head, and the blood, and the dripping, and bleeding, and I felt them, and felt them. <laughs> now you listen to me, squirrel head. Take your hands off me, Buster, or you might get hurt. <laughs> this cell ain't big enough for the three of us. Well, why doesn't he leave? <laughs> Come here. He's overacting, <laughs> this fella, isn't he? <laughs> oh, gee, he's a strong fella, this fella, I was here. Go. I'm going to miss you. Yeah. Get out of here. No, I want to stay with you. Get out of here. No, I want to stay with you, fellas. Now stop this nonsense. All right, for you, I'll go. But you'll be sorry. Come here. 
Professor, I'll go in this way. <laughs> Hello? 
Uh, what do you mean coming here like this? Oh, boy, are we in trouble. These guys won. Well, come on, oh, tell boy, me before it's too late. It's too late, one. Ah, ah, gotcha oh, boy. We're going to give it to you now. It's midnight. Yeah, we've been waiting a long time. Give a long time. Wait. Wait. Oh, oh, give it to him now. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Whiter than any other washing product known with bleach in the wash water. And I have to work so hard to get my husband's shirt white. The collars and cuffs are special. And you owe it yourself to use Fab. Because Fab will save you a lot of work. No soaking, no bleaching, no rinsing. And as for work clothes, Fab gets them cleaner than any soap. Gets all the grease and the grime. Doesn't leave any soap film in the hardest water. Yes, I think I'll try a box of Fab. Right. Better make that two boxes. Yes, ma'am. You'll be glad you tried Fab. How about you? I decided to try Fab. And oh, what a difference that made for me on wash day. See how white and clean this shirt is. Even the collar and the cuff. And not a drop of bleach. Only Fab. Makes my pretty colored things look so much brighter, too. And as for work clothes, they even smell clean. Why don't you try fast? It's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, it gives me great pleasure to introduce you. A young man that Jerry and I think a lot, lot, lot of. Uh, we heard this young man sing. He has a very beautiful operatic voice. We know you'll enjoy him. And so all I have to say is a very good friend of mine and Jerry's, Mr. Salvador Inski. <laughs>
Jerry. Why do you always do a thing that I wanted you to hear this? I especially told you to hear it. Oh, I heard it on the monitor. On the what? On the monitor that we watched. Oh, the monitor? Oh, that's the way you say it. Yeah, that's the only way. Well, anyhow, I wanted to come out and tell you that it would be nice if we did a, a, a request number. A lot of people, they wrote us letters, and they said that it would be nice if we would do a number we did once before on our show. So I said, oh, boy. Well, uh, <laughs> what, what particular number are you thinking about? Well, why don't we do that Australian song? Australian you song? Yeah. That's not Australian. No. That's our Australian. Oh, our Australian. That's right. I didn't know that. In the house. Well, who requested this? <laughs> I said, in the house. Oh. Why don't we do this number because it's a request? Well, who requested it? Your mother. My mother. So I said, all right, Ma. Yeah? We'll do it. So why don't I lead the Bamfi and then sing the second chorus and we should have a jolly time. <laughs> oh, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to do a very beautiful little Italian number from that great Italian opera entitled Sazice Zone. We hope you'll enjoy it. That's <laughs> 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 that funny. Is that funny? No. 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 <laughs> Got white keys? Plenty. <laughs> Why are you playing in the cracks? <laughs> Play on the top of the keys. Skinny fingers. Skinny fingers. Hey, right Oh, <laughs> 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 
Now, we got to finish with a big finish. We got to do a big finish for overtime, but you just can't go off unless you do a big finish. Hurry up, big finish. Don't forget your contributions to the New York Heart Hospital. You've been wonderful. Don't Thank forget you. Donald O'Connor's show. Next week, Donald Next will be week. on. We love you. Good God night. Bless God you. bless Thank you all. The Colgate Company Hour has been presented by Halo Shampoo. Palm Olive Soap. Colgate Dental Cream. And Fab, the new wash day sun. will return to the Colgate Comedy Hour with a special guest, Harpo Marx and Yvonne DiCarlo. The following week, Bud Abbott and Luke Costello will be your stars on the Colgate Comedy Hour. And three weeks from tonight, Eddie Cantor will be back again. Now, good night for the Colgate Comedy Hour, which has been presented by the Colgate Promo of Pete Company, makers of quality products since 1806.